Welcome to today's analysis on EURUSD currency pair. This overview will shed some light what happened on the market this week and what could happen next week. If you like the analysis, click the like button and subscribe. Let's go! The price has managed to close below this 0.96716 support line and has made a bearish candle that took the price below this level and reached 0.95500. This was also a strong bearish candle on a Monday, which has confirmed that on a weekly analysis that was mentioned, we will see the price below because of strong selling pressure last week and on a Friday, where the price did not return back up, bounce up, that would indicate the sellers are getting out, but the price is continuing to move down. Now we have the price has returned back up and closed the day at 0.96088. This level was mentioned in the Saturday analysis that the price will possibly reach this level and it will find small support, where we'll see the price bouncing or retracing a little bit back. So if we go to the intraday analysis on a 4 hour time frame, we will see what is the current status. But what we can see right now, there is a possibility that the price will return back up here around this level between 0.96716 and this one 0.96849. This is a small supply zone which now acts as a resistance for the price on a daily time frame. And there is a possibility if the price clo closes the daily candle above this resistance level, we will see the price reaching this downtrend currently resistance line. Now if we move to the 4 hour time frame, we will see what the price has made in the last day. We can see this strong bearish candle that took the price below this resistance level, which now acts as a support and the price reached 0.95521 support level for the 4 hour time frame. We can see also here a downtrend channel that has been broken with this bearish candle yesterday and then we have a small bullish candle that returned the price back inside this downtrend channel. So it is a small fault breakout from this downtrend channel but we can see what is happening after that. We see a bullish candle and a second bullish candle that took the price back up around this supply zone, which is currently 0.96716 resistance level. We can see that these, the price could not close above this price, which is also a price for this candle that prevented the price to close the, the 4 hour time frame below this level. So this is a critical level for the price when it will go up in this case. We can see here that this supply zone is right now here close to the downtrend resistance line, which will be a confluence of resistance for the price to move up. And also if the price manages to close the daily the four hour sorry four hour time frame candle above this level, this will indicate we will see the price on the next resistance level, which is here. This is the second supply zone at 0.97485. You can see in the past this level and also this zone here has prevented the price to move to the upwards where we have indecision candle and then engulfing bearish candle which means that the sellers are rolling around this level and there will be hard time for the bulls to push the price on a higher level and this is here around downtrend resistance line. So, what we can expect right now? We have here a two, two bullish candles, then we have three bearish candles that could not took the price again to the lowest level that we have seen yesterday, which means the bulls are here are enough strong to push the price a little bit higher. So I'm expecting the price to reach this level, this supply zone in the next day, and then we'll see, will the price manage to close the day above this daily candle close? If the price on the 4 hour time frame closes here, which is above this level, we will see possibly small a breakout to the upside and maybe then we will see, will the price return back, confirming this previous resistance as a support to continue to move up.
If we check a little bit here, we will see that we have a small triangle that is currently formed on a 4 hour time frame that could indicate a breakout from this triangle. You can see that we have here a small triangle. I will return this back up so it will be much more clear what we can see. Now if we see here a triangle, it could break out outside of this triangle and push the price higher to the higher level. But if the breakout happens here and closes the 4 hour time frame, we could see the price reaching this level, this second resistance level and the supply zone. If the price could not manage to close the 4 hour time frame above this, we could see here a bearish price action signal that will indicate the price returning back down and reaching this level which is current support level and also the demand zone for the price that needs to be break uh, to, to be broken to expect the price on a 0 0.94861 so currently the price is forming some kind of uh, market overview as a bullish scenario to break out from this triangle it is a small triangle so we should not expect too much forces and uh, bullish action to push the price too much higher but the first level is here so we need to have in mind that currently we are in a bearish market overview so it is a bearish trend so we should expect to enter in the trades only where there is a bearish signal so pay attention and look for the trading signals around this supply zone and then we will see what the price will do when it reaches this level that is all from today's analysis. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any question, feel free to leave a comment. If you like the analysis, click the like button and subscribe. See you next time and a happy trading.